This is the general arrangement of the conserved sequences in the E. coli replication origin ORIC. These conserved sequences have R sites like R1, R5, R2, R3 and R4. These R sites are the binding site for DNA A protein. These five R sites are nine base pair sequences. These five R sites have a consensus sequence. The nucleotide sequence in the consensus sequence is T T A or T T N C A C C. Here N represents A or T or G or C. The conserved sequences in the E. coli replication origin ORIC have three I sites like I1, I2, I3. I1, I2, I3 are additional DNA A binding sites. The conserved sequences in the E. coli replication origin ORIC also have a IHF binding site and a FIS binding site. IHF stands for integration host factor. FIS stands for factor for inversion stimulation. IHF and FIS are required components of certain recombination reactions. IHF and FIS stimulate initiation of DNA replication. Another DNA binding protein HU, a histone-like bacterial protein originally dubbed factor U, stimulates initiation of DNA replication. The protein HU has no specific binding site. The conserved sequences in the E. coli replication origin ORIC have a region called the DUE. DUE stands for DNA unwinding element. The DUE is a tandem array of three 13 base pair sequences. The DUE has consensus sequence. The nucleotide sequence in the consensus sequence is GATCT NTTN TTTT. Here N represents A or T or G or C. The horizontal arrows indicate the orientations of the nucleotide sequences. Left to right arrow denotes sequence in top strand. Right to left arrow denotes sequence in bottom strand. Now these are the proteins required to initiate replication at the E. coli origin. The E. coli has an ORIC. The ORIC consists of 245 base pair. The ORIC has R sites and I sites. During initiation of replication, first of all, 8 DNA A ATP complexes bind at the R sites and I sites in the ORIC. After this binding, the DNA is wrapped around this DNA A ATP complex. This complex forms a right-handed helical structure. The adjacent DNA A binding imparts a strain. Due to this strain, the AT rich DUE region is denatured. This is the denatured DUE region. Formation of the helical DNA complex is facilitated by the proteins HU, IHF, FIS. HU, IHF, FIS proteins are not shown here because their detailed structural roles have not yet been defined. In the next step, 
DNA C ATP complex bound to DNA B hexamer helps the DNA B hexamer to bind to each DNA strand. As a result, a complex is formed in which DNA B hexamers are bound to each DNA strand with the release of DNA C, ADP, and PIE. The DNA B helicase activity further unwinds the DNA in preparation for priming and DNA synthesis. Now, some important points. DNA A protein and DNA C protein are members of the AAA plus ATPase protein family. Initiation is the only phase of DNA replication that is known to be regulated. Please like, subscribe and share.